Would you guys got another video? Adminless Windows 11 for better PC security. Windows 11 is moving in a similar direction to Mac OS and Linux, which offer a rootless environment by default. Instead of UAC prompts, users will have to authenticate using a PIN number or other Windows Hello methods to grant temporary admin privileges. If we look right here, we're signed in as a local account and we are administrator. For many, many, many years, Windows has always given you an administrator account when you install Windows. Unlike macOS and Linux, Windows grants admin access to the first user account by default, created during the installation or setup process. This has been the case on Windows for many years. However, admin access is protected by a UAC uh, prompt, which you can see right here. When you install a program, a UAC prompt will pop up on the screen and it gives you the choice to say yes to install the program. You do get a little bit of control here with this slider button here, but it's not that great. Now, some people go as far as even turning the UAC off, which you shouldn't do. But what we're going to do here is I'll quickly show you what we have by default. So when you go and install a program like this right here, you click OK and then you click Next and then you will basically get a UAC prompt box popping up on the screen, just like so. And this is the way it's been done for many years, but now it's going to change. And this is probably the biggest security update that Windows has received in many a year. So let's go ahead and what I'll do is I'll set this up and I'll show you exactly what Microsoft plan on doing. So this new method that Microsoft are going to implement very, very soon, probably in November, administrator protection, is an up and coming platform security feature for Windows 11, which aims to protect free flow in admin rights for administrator users, allowing them to still perform an all admin function with just in time admin privileges. This feature is off by default and it needs to be enabled via group policy editor. And I'll show you how to enable that feature once we finished right here. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna to need to go to your start button and then go to search and enable the feature inside group policy editor. So if you do have an own version, you won't have group policy editor. I'm on a Windows 11 Pro um, and above will have this option. So let's go ahead. I'm not sure what they're gonna do with home versions, but maybe once they release it, more information will come out. But we've got here the local group policy editor here. We're going to go to Windows settings, then set in security. Inside here, we're going to go to local policies, open that up, and then we're going to go to security options. Let me just drag this open a bit more. So security options, and then on the right hand pane, we need to enable this feature. Now, by default, it will be off, and you will need to enable this brand new security feature. I would advise you to enable it because I think it's a really good feature to have on your system to protect you. So you can see here under the user account control, we have an option called configure type admin approval mode. So we're going to double click on this right here and you can see it's in legacy admin approval mode by default. And we need to use the drop down arrow to change this feature to admin approval mode with administration uh, or administrator protection. That's what we need to set on this one here and apply an OK. Now you will need to set up a pin number in uh, Windows Hello for your ID. So let's go ahead and what we'll do is uh, apply this and OK this on the system. Now that's all set, we're pretty much ready to go once we set up our pin. And we're gonna do that in a second. Let me just open up the command prompt here because I want to um, update my policies here. So I'm gonna go here and type in here GP update and then space forward slash false. I probably will have to restart the PC anyway but I'll do this just in case here. And once we've done this, I just want to quickly show you before we enable the actual feature so you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So if I put who am I here, it's going to give me my account name right here, Brightech. That is my user account and I'm an admin right now. But once I enable this feature and restart the PC, you'll basically see a difference. What it's going to do is it's going to give me the option. So instead of allowing UAC prompts, users will have to enter a pin to authenticate using Windows Hello methods to temporarily grant admin privileges, 
or admin rights. So inside the settings, go to accounts here and we need to go to pin or Windows Hello and we need to put ourselves a pin in here. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put our password in. Uh, so let me quickly do that right here. And when I click OK, it's going to give me the option to enter a pin. So let me go ahead and do that right here. New pin. So I'm going to give myself a four digit pin just for this video. And once we got this set, we're pretty much good to go and we will need to restart our PC. So now we're set up similar to Mac OS and Linux under the hood. So admin rights are elevated only on a needed basis. And that's how we're going to have this set up. Now, Microsoft are going to give us more information this in November on their up and coming event. So we'll have to stay tuned for that one. But I'm going to quickly restart the PC here because we will need to restart the PC to make this work. And I'll show you basically how this is going to work. It's a much more secure way of using Windows. Now, some people might find this a bit of a chore to keep putting in your PIN number. But if you want to stay safe and make Windows a lot more secure, then this is the way forward for Windows security because this will make Windows very, very secure. And it's going to be right up there as one of the most secure operating systems once this is implemented. You can see here when you open up Task Manager, it's going to ask you for that PIN or Registry Editor or any key component of Windows. It's going to need that PIN to run properly. So let's go ahead and install a program and straight away you can see here it needs to grant access for this and it will need a pin for it to be installed. So what this is doing is basically it's created an admin account under the hood example admin underscore our username and I'll show you that in a second and then it's going to elevate the admin privileges temporarily through this run as command which you can see right here. Uh, done via a secure method with PIN or fingerprint or Windows Hello authentication. This way, the administrative privileges are not granted permanently to that system. So this is a much more secure way of running Windows. So let me go ahead and open up the command prompt here, and you'll see what I mean by having to put this PIN in. And once we got this in here, I'll quickly put this in, and you'll see the admin underscore username. So let me put who am I now. So we've now not got the Brightech account just there. We now have admin underscore Brightech here. And this is running basically in a much more secure environment. Now, of course, you can't please everyone. You're going to get the people that are going to be moaning that they've got to put a pin number in every time they want to open up a key component like registry editor, command prompt or something like that. But this is going to keep your system very secure. If you want to open up the registry editor, you're going to have to put in your pin. And yes, I know people will moan because they love to moan about everything. But when Microsoft give you something as good as this, there's no need to moan because this is a major security update to a Windows operating system. So let's go ahead. When you want to open group policy up, you're going to have to put that pin in. And it's a much better way and a secure way of running Windows than the way it was before where it's having the admin account accessed all the time and it's just not good doing it this way it's only granting it temporarily for you so it's a much more secure way of running windows so no more will windows security be a laughing stock it's going to be a much more secure system using this particular method let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below on whether you'll use this feature when it's released my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.